Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel Learning for Development. Again, we are going to talk about using the same words both as noun and as verb. I have already made two videos on the same topic and this is the third video. Click on the i button and watch those videos. I have also given the link of those videos in the description of this video. Let's see what are the words coming in this video. Back as noun it's a part of our body. For example, he sleeps on his back. When we use the same word as verb, it means to support somebody or something. As an example, we can say, my family backed me during my struggle. Bail. As noun, it means allowing an accused person to go free until the trial. Finally, Porimoni got her bail. Here we are using bail as noun. And when we use the same word as verb, it means to release somebody on bail. I can give you the same example. The court has bailed Porimoni last week. Balloon. As noun, we know balloon means balloon. For example, she tied many balloons on the wall. And when we use the same word as verb, it means something very different. It means to form a round shape. An example can be her skirt ballooned out in the wind. It can also mean to increase something rapidly. And another example can be the unemployment rate now ballooned to 25%. Ban. As verb it means to decide or say officially that something is not allowed. For example, the new law bans smoking in public places. As verb, ban can also mean to order somebody not to do something, go somewhere, etc. As an example, we can say the court has banned his international travel due to the charge of a murder case. As noun, ban can mean an official rule that says that something is not allowed. The example can be, the country has imposed a total ban on importing alcohol. As noun, ban can also mean an official decision for a person not allowing to do something for a certain period of time. An example can be, the athlete got a ban from any international sports for 5 years. Bandage. As noun, its meaning is pretty simple. And if we give the example, that will also make the meaning. She has a bandage around her hand. And when we use the same word as verb, it means to wrap a bandage around a part of our body. And an example can be, the doctor has bandaged her hand after a surgery. Bargain. As verb, it means to discuss prices, conditions, etc. with somebody. It's a fixed price shop, so you can't bargain. As noun, it means a thing bought under less than the usual price. For example, I bought this car after a huge bargain. As noun, bargain can also mean an agreement between two or more people or groups to do something for each other. For example, two brothers made a bargain for the share of their property. It means a sort of deal between two brothers. Battle. When we use the word battle as noun, it means a fight or war between two persons or parties. The world is facing a new battle with coronavirus. And when we use the same word as verb, it means to try very hard to achieve something difficult. For example, two parties were battling to come to power. Beat. As verb, it means to defeat somebody in a game or competition. And an example can be, I cannot beat him at chess. And when we use the same word as noun, it means a single hit to something or a unit of rhythm. For example, she felt the beat of his heart. Benefit. As noun, it means an advantage. For example, the benefit of good education is enormous. And when we use the word as verb, it means to benefit somebody. For example, this embankment project will benefit everybody in the country. Blame. We mostly use this word as verb and it means to think or say that somebody or something is responsible for something bad. For example, why are you blaming me for that accident? And when we use the same word as noun, it means 
responsibility of doing something badly or wrongly for example i will not take the blame every time things go wrong block as verb it means to stop something from moving or flowing an example can be the new high rise buildings block the sea view from my window another example can be a huge traffic jam has blocked my road to office and when we use the same word as noun it means a solid material that is square or rectangular in shape and usually has flat sides for example he has made this house of concrete blocks as noun block can also mean something that makes movement or progress difficult or even impossible for example too much hierarchy is a block to progress a new work bloom as verb it means to produce flowers or to become healthy happy or confident for example some flowers bloom in the spring and some in autumn another example can be children are blooming here in good health and when we use the word bloom as noun its meaning is similar and an example can be the flowers are in full bloom now children are in bloom here as they play in the nature blow as noun it means hard hit with the hand a weapon etc for example he was defeated with a big blow on his head as noun it can also mean a sudden event that hurts or damages something or somebody losing his job suddenly was a terrible blow for the family and when we use the word blow as verb it means to send out air from the mouth for example the giant is blowing air from his mouth or we can say a gentle breeze is blowing in the green field as verb blow can also mean to move or removing something for example strong wind blew off her umbrella bother as verb it means to annoy worry or upset somebody for example his leg injury is bothering him a lot as verb bother can also mean to interrupt somebody for example please don't bother him when he is writing a poem as noun bother means trouble or difficulty and an example can be please don't put me in any bother or i don't like to be a bother for you bounce as verb it means to move up surface for example the boy is bouncing his ball bounce can also mean something cancelled for example the bank bounced my check as i don't have enough deposit and when we use the word bounce as noun it means the action of bouncing an example can be it's a great bounce from him to grab another wicket box as noun it's a very well known word and box means box for example the box is empty as verb box means to put something in a box for example she is boxing some medicines for her travel break as verb it means to damage or separate something into two or more parts for example she has broken the bottle out of anger as verb break can also mean crossing any limit for example she has broken the speed limit as noun break can mean a sort of interval for example she went out during her lunch break break can also mean a sort of relief from anything for example he needs a short break from his work our last word is buy as verb it means to obtain something by paying money for it for example i love to buy books and i do it very often and when we use the same word as noun it means something bought for example my books were a great buy or we can say the policy doesn't have people's buy in viewers i hope you like this video and if you think it is useful please don't forget to like and share and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much